I don't think it was a mistake. I voted for it at the time. And if I could rewind it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change that view. I think the December hike was justified given where the economy was and also justified given that it was important for us to get the policy rate in the range of what we've called neutral. And as Chair Powell has indicated, I've said in my speeches, the policy rate now is in the range of neutral. And when you're neutral, you can afford to be patient. You know, a year ago, we weren't. We were below neutral. There's also talk that, you know, the Fed is right now being bullied by the markets. The markets threw a tantrum after December, and the Fed totally changed well, its tune on the balance sheet and on the interest rate trajectory. How do you respond well, to that? Well, I've heard that, and thank you for reminding me. I'd say a couple of points. On the balance sheet, you know, the balance sheet is something that, that we've been discussing both publicly and in the committee, really, several meetings last year and this year. And we were always going to make a decision on the balance sheet. And we made that decision this year after a lot of deliberation. And I think we've communicated it well. Obviously, QE was untried going in, and there's not a playbook for coming out. So there's probably some market uncertainty about that. And we've resolved that, I think, appropriately. Uh, but as I said, I think we're in a good place. And I think in terms of responding to markets, you know, a lot of folks weren't saying that in December. Uh, when folks were calling for us to pause. So I think we just do the, Sarah, we just put the monetary policy in place that has the best chance of achieving our goals on a sustained basis, and, and that's really what, what we're all about. How high right now is the bar for a move, either to hike or to cut? Well, I think one of the virtues of having the ability to be patient is that you just let the data uh, come in. Uh, we don't see a need now for a move in either uh, uh, direction. Uh, you know, we'll be getting more data. Uh, we had some issues in terms of the shutdown, in terms of getting data late, and so it's going to take time to assess all that. We'll get Q1 GDP uh, pretty soon, so we're looking Checking at all of that. around 2% now, yeah. according to the Atlanta Fed. Yeah, Atlantic. definitely, it definitely been, been perking up from some of the earlier tracking uh, estimates. So I don't think I'd characterize it in terms of a bar, other than to, just to repeat myself a bit and say we're, we're in a good place.